So Anita Sarkeesian and others, they decided they're going to hammer that clout-filled pinata called Ninja. You know, hit him with a few comments online. Watch the likes pour out. You can hear it now. I did it, Ma. I'm relevant again. Relevant. I swear, these people, they never, ever stop. When I say they never, ever stop, I mean that, too. Look at this article here from Bounding Into Comics. Props to them, by the way. You should definitely check them out. But look at this headline. Anita Sarkeesian and bashes Tyler Ninja Blevins after he makes ESPN Magazine announcement. Look at the year here, September 20th, 2018. They've been going after this guy for two years plus. They will never, ever relent. See, all of this, by the way, is based on one little factoid. He doesn't stream with female gamers. Quote, If I have one conversation with one female streamer where we're playing with one another, and even if there's a hint of flirting, that's going to be taken, and it's going to be put on every single video and be clickbait forever. Then he added, to The only way to avoid that gossip is not to play with them at all. So he's telling you, I don't play with female streamers. I don't want Want that on me. So fast forward to Ninja being featured in ESPN the magazine. You can see his post here. So excited too. There's a B missing here. To be the first professional gamer to be featured in ESPN the magazine. Cover and profile will be shown on Sports Center tomorrow. Gives the time and all of that. So he's excited about this. Now this this is the perfect time for clout seekers too, because you have a lot of eyes on them. You can say, Oh my God, how dare you do this? You can be a Ended. And you know what? That That's Nita Sarkeesian's trade. Here she is, not only grabbing his comment, but tagging an ESPN, no less, making sure that she can get all the clout out of that, saying, wait, 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 isn't this the guy who said he wouldn't play with women? Cool, cool, cool. Way to go, at ESPN, elevating the status of a misogynist. So, you've got to ruin that person. you got to throw those labels on. That's not bullying, though, by the way. Calling people racist, calling them sexist, calling them misogynist, and on, trying to ruin him. That's not bullying and harassment. Blowback, not from you, though. That's what's going to be. Now, that cloud parade, of course, it didn't stop then. Oh, no. Look at this. All caps, by the way, baby. Oh, I'm so angry. Refusing to play games with women because you are married and don't want hypothetical rumors to start is one of the most bonkers logic I've ever heard. What is wrong with all of you? Now the hypocrisy from the Believe All hashtag crowd, it is overwhelming considering if he were to relent on that, he were to have someone on, rumors started up, they called him a harasser, these would be the same people to bury him, but you know what? Why wait for that? They're already doing it. That, that was 2018 and here. Here's the now. They kept going. Now, I would say that this is how all of it kicks up, but really, it never dies out. But this is how it comes back into the limelight. You have this person here saying, a couple of weeks ago, I pointed out how his stance on not playing with women doubled down in his recent New York Times interview is harmful to us. He tweeted, I don't know, bleep, but his followers proved my point. And you notice this, a sampling of the daily harassment I receive from Ninja's followers. So it's not harassment to go out, call somebody a sexist. By the way, they were calling him a racist, too. You know, because he said, I don't control my fans. I'm not their father. Well, they're trying to put him in his place. They're trying to say, this, this is what you get. You're such a monster. He comes in and apologizes for that, by the way. Never ever apologize for other people. You can't control them. He said, you know, nobody deserves to be harassed or messaged anything like that. I'm sorry this happens. Also, they are not true fans if they are attacking people. I never encourage any of my audience to harass people. And that, that gives Anita Sarkeesian the only bridge she needs in. You can see she's responding to that. You, Ninja, literally create and regularly reinforce an environment where women are considered inferior. Again, you notice that's the same talking point that you're seeing here. He's harmful. He's a sexist. Inferior women. You don't get to throw your hands up when they harass and abuse 
female streamers and say, quote unquote, they aren't true fans. Take some responsibility for the power you wield. Like somebody has said, by the way, the power you wield. What is he, a freaking superhero here? You can't stop people from doing things on the internet. I've learned that. People do terrible things. If we got to attach that to the people that they're following, I wonder how many people would be attached to Anita Sarkeesian. Just curious there. The context for this tweet is that Ninja's fans, unsurprisingly, are harassing female streamers for being critical of his sexism. So again, that's not bullying harassment. That's just being critical, saying that you're harming other people, saying that you're a racist too. Again, that was added on. That's just being critical of a person. I swear, it's always some type of spin. Now this, it continues into this rant here. It's not a surprise that video game companies whose leadership holds toxic values. What's a toxic value, by the way? It's not listening to Anita Sarkeesian when she tells you, you better do this or else. But continuing, and the games themselves perpetuate those values. So, toxic values, games you create, they perpetuate toxic values, also seem to have the most toxic fans and communities. Again, attacking fandom, attacking communities, attacking companies and on. Why do these people ever listen to these folks? I've never understood that. This is no different from streamers and influencers. Studies show that if a streamer uses oppressive language, oppressive by the way, look at that, your language itself is oppressive, their chat is also likely to use that same oppressive language. They have been given permission that this is a community where racist, sexist, ableist language is okay. By the way, I would say if you're going out and tarring and feathering people as these things all the time, you're throwing it around with really no meaning whatsoever. Maybe you utilize oppressive language. Hmm, ever thought about that? Of course not. You know, because that that would look in the self-reflecting mirror. In Ninja's case, as one of the biggest streamers of all time, his constant insistence that he will not stream with women signals his value. He can deny this all he wants, but he is signaling to his audience that women are inferior, not good at games, not worthy of his platform. No, he's saying that people like yourself, you would absolutely demolish him behind the scenes. He's just afraid to say it. He's afraid to say that the hashtag, believe all hashtags, yeah, people like that would destroy him, absolutely, and he's a giant target. And look at how many other people have fallen, whether those things are true or not. Once they're said they're true, therefore, why don't you avoid them? His audience accepts this and internalizes this by continuing to participate in a space that perpetuates sexist attitudes. This sexism is pollution that everyone in that community is breathing in. I swear, man. No, Ninja is not responsible for every single action of every single fan, but, so you get the but there, he is responsible for creating an environment that encourages sexist attitudes, especially knowing how prevalent and damaging online harassment is. So there was nothing about harassment, by the way. He's literally saying, I want to avoid these folks. I don't want anything to do with folks like this. Yeah, he's the harasser by trying to avoid. Since when did avoidance become harassment? I mean, this world, I do not understand it at all. Basically, it is bend your knee and kowtow to whatever I say or else. And again, with situations are reversed. If he went in and he did that and he allowed this in and these people got a chance to destroy him, they would do that too. And lastly, he and anyone with a significant following do not get to simply throw their hands up and say, well, I didn't directly tell them to harass anyone, therefore I'm not responsible. Influencers influence. They shape the attitudes around them for better or worse. Let me ask you too, in closing, would you trust these people with your reputation? Would you trust them with your business? Would you trust them not to go in and try to destroy you? See, I don't blame people that think that way. I mean, I don't stream with very many people at all. I don't trust very many people because I did it one time and you know that it didn't go very well at all. I mean color me naive. I've learned from that and I'm sure Ninja has learned from that too. Ninja too, stop apologizing to these folks. They want to ruin you. They've been trying to do it for years and they're never ever going to stop.
But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. As always, appreciate the heck out of you. You, you make this stuff work. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. And if you want to help the channel out, there are links in the description. That includes quite a few things. You can check those out. But you being here, that matters. Never can say this enough to thank you. I appreciate you, and we will see you soon.